Today's topic, what is a revocable living trust? Now, many times people hear that word, revocable living trust, or that title, or living trust, and they think, what does that mean? Is it a living thing I have in my house? Do I water it like a plant? No, no, no. That's not really what it means. The living part means it's a trust you formed while you are living. And the revocable part means while you are living, you can revoke the trust in whole or in part, or amend the trust. So it's a very flexible document, and we use it often for what we call a will substitute. Now if you watched my previous videos, you learned a little about probate. And if you have a will, the uh, will must go through probate with the court. This means everything is public and the court supervises the process. For some people, that's a good thing. For others, they value their privacy. They don't want everything public, so a trust keeps things private. A properly funded revocable trust can keep your assets out of the court and it can keep all your assets and they could end up with no need for a probate. Um, so to form a trust, it's a document, it's like a contract that you form telling your trustee, which is someone you choose, how to administer your trust during your lifetime and after your death. Now, most commonly, if you're alive, you'll name yourself as trustee while you're alive, and you'll name someone to take over when you die. Uh, often when you die, then the trustee's job is to wrap up your estate, your assets, gather them, and distribute them to who you name. Now, there's a lot more involved with the revocable living trust, but that's the basics of how you form one and what it does, functioning as a will substitute to help you avoid probate. We'll cover more aspects in future videos.